What's going on you guys? It's Blake Wrestler back with another car intro. Now, today's our last full day in the beach. Uh, we're gonna go hit a push workout, chest, shoulders, triceps, and then yeah, probably just enjoy, maybe hit the beach after. I know me and Melissa are hitting a barbecue spot tonight. Very excited for. Um, but yeah, take you through this push workout. All right guys, so first, we are warming up our rotator cuffs. If you guys are wondering why your shoulder hurts when you're trying to bench press, it is because you are not warming up your AC joints and rotator cuff in your shoulder. So, just doing this little like band stretch. All right guys, so first I'm running a pec deck. I always warm up with this on chest day to really um, pump the chest with blood before I go into a pressing movement. Make sure I feel it in my chest rather than in my shoulder. Um, yeah, this is called the pre-exhaustion method. Really just making sure that you don't tear anything, don't get injured, uh, and feeling it where you're supposed to. And because this is our first movement and we're like warming up, I like to not go too heavy, do, you know, probably 12 to 15 reps on my first few sets, get really warmed up. And I like to pause in the full stretch position, just pause for like a second or two. It's going to really open up those fibers, and then when you squeeze, you'll feel all of them start to contract across the chest. machine fly, pec deck, whatever you want to call it, is keep your scapula flat up against that pad. As soon as you start to arch your back and come forward, you're not hitting chest anymore, you're hitting front delt. Yeah. Keep your scapula against that pad. As soon as you start to come forward, your set is over. When you get into the machine, you almost want to push your back up against it and then arch it a little bit. Keep that chest though. Now that our chest is pumped up, we're gonna focus on a compound movement. I like to go a little bit heavy here. Since we do have some blood in here, we don't really have to worry about injury as much. That's why I pre-exhaust with the machine plot. Just gonna force more blood into there and give you a better pump. face man
incline press. I might come back and do incline smith, but really just trying to focus on growing that upper chest right now. All right, guys. My chest is on fire right now. We're gonna run this uh, seated press, like cable press. You can also use it as a fly if I do that. I'm gonna use it as like a neutral grip press, really get a good squeeze at the bottom. than the dumbbell press that we did earlier. So, still not too steep of an incline because we want to keep the front delt as uninvolved as possible. Just keep stimulating that upper chest there. My chest is pretty burned out, so we're not going super heavy here, but we are gonna move a little bit of weight. fibers firing right now. Lower the weight a little bit. Really just gonna pump these out. I know a lot of guys <coughs> don't believe in doing two incline movements per workout, but that is the part of my chest I'm really trying to grow right now. And the dumbbell lets you hit them at a different angle and works on the stabilizer in your pec. Believe it or not, you do have stabilizers in your pecs. Smith machine is for pussies movement. You guys are missing out on so many gains, let me tell you. Man, I love vacation, but very excited to be home. Back in the home gym, doing good ass workouts. Back completely on plan with the meals. I haven't been too off plan this trip, but you know, completely consistent. Getting every single meal, every single macro. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be real nice. But. Tonight's our last night. We're hitting a barbecue spot tonight. We get a fat rack of ribs, maybe some smoked chicken. <sighs> Cannot wait. But yeah, let's hit this up.
imagine myself kind of pushing through my armpits. That's gonna help keep your scapula retracted and really just pushing through that chest. Clean off your benches, especially if it's not your home gym. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on chest. Uh, we're gonna move on to some lateral raises now. Get the shoulders pumped before we go into a shoulder press movement. It's really gonna help with your mind muscle connection after hitting a full chest workout. Make sure you keep the trap out of it. Imagine that you're pushing through the floor and then through the walls. It's gonna keep your arm a little bit straighter. And really feel it in the medial belt rather than uh, you know your traps. I know a lot of guys that struggle with this. Hashtag take your lateral raises to failure. There's no reason you shouldn't be taking these all the way. We're running a machine shoulder press now. I just pump my, my delts with the lateral raises. So, really feeling the mind muscle connection here. If you guys are struggling, feeling it in your delts. Pump up with lateral raises first and then go into a pressing movement. It's gonna give you a way better mind muscle connection. triceps um, when one muscle is contracted the opposite is stretched so on the eccentric when I get to the top of these tricep movements I like to flex my bicep to make sure that the tricep right here is completely stretched and there's blood flowing in there. so on the way up flex your bicep on the way down contract your tricep all right you guys that's gonna be a wrap on today's workout nice little push workout uh, got a good pump hopefully we'll grow some milkers Hopefully we'll get huge. Uh, yeah, thank you Hammerhead Gym and Outer Banks. It's been a blast, great workouts. Thank you Stu for letting me film in there. I know you had some, uh, some interesting comments, but yeah, that's gonna be a wrap on today's workout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, June 17th. We are back in Pennsylvania. Uh, today we are going to the Jimmy Oaks Clean Culture um, collab in the Poconos. It's at the Pocono Raceway. Should be pretty interesting because Clean Culture usually puts on a pretty decent event. So we're going to go see some drifting, see some cool ass cars, and yeah, taking you guys with me. All right, you guys, we are just about ready to leave here. We have an hour and 46 minute drive to the Pocono Raceway. So we've got our essentials. Orange Dream School Ghost, sunglasses, Honey Rambod podcast, and chicken and rice in the back. So, we're gonna get some gas and then be on our way. All my caffeine addicts know that that is the best feeling in the world.
right guys, so we just pulled into Pocono Raceway. Um, I'm super fired up, super pumped for this because I've never been to this raceway. Usually events like this are held at the um, English Town Raceway in New Jersey. But um, yeah, we're waiting in line here to get parked. And then as soon as we park, I'm gonna throw back my chicken and rice meal. Then we're gonna head in and see some drifting and some cool ass cars. Let's do it. We just left the Pocono Raceway, the Clean Culture Jimmy Oaks event. Honestly, great turnout, but it was stupid the way that they had the drift track set up. You could literally only see them on entry, and then after that they went over a hump and you couldn't see the rest of the track. So yeah, checked out the car show for a little bit. There were some very cool things you'll see at the beginning of this video. But uh, yeah, we have a two hour trip home. We just got her hangry ass, some Wawa, and yeah, another Honey Rambod podcast and a lot of driving. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Blake Wrestler, out.